Hey everyone, Dana here. What's up with this glass? Oh, I almost spilled it on me. <laughs> I'm glad it's a German glass of water and not an American glass of water. You'll find out why later in the video. Look at this glass. <laughs> How is it different from an American glass of water? I'll give you a hint. It's not the glass and it's not the water. That and more in this video, five weird Germany versus USA differences so small and obscure that you probably never even noticed them before now. But now that I point them out to you, you won't be able to unsee them, so sorry for that. But first, before I start the video, something cool. I filmed three different videos, uh, like fun, funny videos about Danglish and the German language reading from You Go Me on the Cookie. I think you'll have fun watching these videos. Baden Baden! I hope they make you smile. So I will link to those up there and down in the description box below. Be sure to check them out after this video. Number five, counting a second. In English, or at least in the US, now that I think about it, I have no idea how people in other English speaking countries do this, so please let me know down in the comments. But at least in the US, we count seconds in Mississippi. So Mississippi is a state in the US, and also a river, and also a state, <laughs> and apparently also a measurement of one second. Because in the US, we count out seconds like this. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and so on. And I had actually been living in Germany and speaking German for a while before even realizing this difference. It happened when Stefan and I were filming the video where I made soft Bavarian pretzels way back when, and I was counting like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and it occurred to me to ask Stefan how that actually goes in Germany. Because of course it's not gonna be measured in Mississippi's, right? Like, I don't know, maybe it's measured in Schleswig-Holstein's, like ein Schleswig-Holstein, zwei Schleswig-Holstein. It is so hard for me to say Schleswig-Holstein, that's a tongue twister. No, he said that he always did it by counting, <laughs> simply starting from 21. So, 21, 22, 23. I guess that would be three seconds counted in Germany. Whereas in the US, we do it with Mississippi's. Number four, opening your toothpaste. Americans, let me know, please, down in the comments if you have ever seen this in the US. I never have. The first time I ever saw this was here in Germany. Okay, so in America, all the toothpastes that I ever bought, unfortunately I don't have one here with me in Germany, but um, yeah, in the US, you take the cap off the toothpaste and then on the small tip on the inside, there's an aluminum seal and you pull that off in order to open up the toothpaste, which, yeah, I've never seen that here in Germany. However, in Germany, what I have seen is genius. It's amazing. I've got one of the toothpastes here. This is a brand new toothpaste and uh, I've never opened it and, I, and this is what it looks like. And I have to admit that when I first saw a toothpaste like this in Germany, I spent way too long trying to open up the toothpaste top like this, like trying to yank it off or twist it off and it just didn't work. I was like, Stefan, I can't get into this toothpaste. I was about to get the scissors when Stefan was like, stop, what are you doing? <laughs> and he showed me that on the back of the toothpaste cap, there's like the matching gear and you just put the toothpaste in and twist and that's how you open a German toothpaste. And that's amazing. Come on, people, that's so cool. There's a little puzzle, a little puzzle piece on the German toothpaste. Tell me that's not awesome. That's awesome. Number three, space slash space. That is such a tongue twister, try saying that. Space slash space, space slash space. In both German and English, the forward slash can be used to list things or to represent the word or. So let's say that there's a recipe that calls for using either butter or oil or margarine for, I don't know, greasing the pan. So it might say, measure out your butter slash oil slash margarine, which would look like this in the US and could look like this in Germany. Yeah, living here in Germany, sometimes I have edited and proofread 
English documents written by Germans. And at the beginning, when I first saw this, I was really confused about why they were always sending me documents with like spaced out, like why there were spaces between the slashes, you know? And then I learned, yeah, that's how it can be done in Germany to help break up the text. Not always. I have sometimes seen German texts with slashes written without the space. But uh, a lot of times in Germany, I've seen a space in between the slashes. Let me know down in the comments, how do you use the slash in this case? Do you use it with a space or without a space? Does it depend on if you're writing in German or in English or what? Yeah, let me know in the comments. Number two, microphones. Yes, that's right, microphones. Handheld microphones versus headset microphones. So here's a picture of me wearing a headset microphone. This is what I'm talking about. And growing up in the US, as far as a person standing on stage talking about something goes, I always associated this kind of microphone with someone giving either like a TED Talk type talk on whatever subject, or someone giving, you know, like a, like a motivational session at a company retreat in Las Vegas, or someone giving a workshop on how to invest in the stock market. What I did not ever, ever, ever associate these kinds of headset mics with in the US were comedians. In fact, going out on a limb here, but I do not think I have ever seen an American comedian perform on stage with a headset mic like this. They always use the handheld microphones, you know, the ones like that are on a, a pole, on a stand. And I've noticed that the comedians often incorporate them into their act, like taking the microphone out and flicking the cord around on the floor, then putting the microphone back into the microphone stand. I was, I was actually legit confused the first time that Stefan and I watched a German comedian and they were wearing a headset mic. Like my brain literally was like, eh, eh, does not come to you. You know, I was, I was honestly confused. Like, no, that can't be a comedian. They're wearing a headset microphone. Comedians don't wear headset microphones. And then once I figured out, okay, they are a comedian, <laughs> I just figured it was just them. Like they're just an abnormality of the comedy world. But then after I, I saw comedian after comedian after comedian here in Germany using headset microphones, I realized, no, it must be a cultural difference that comedians in Germany use the, the headset mics while comedians in the US use the handheld mics on the, on the stand. And number one, glasses of water or juice or whatever else is in there. This is a German glass of water and this, careful, 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 is an American glass of water. German, American, German, American. Notice the difference? You know, there's that saying in English about the glass of water being half empty or half full. It doesn't make sense in Germany because <laughs> in Germany, the literal glass of water always looks half empty to me, you know, or, or at least like a quarter empty. Here's the thing. At first I thought it was just a, a Stefan thing. You know, like whenever I would ask Stefan to get me some water from the tap, he would bring me back a glass like this. Not really filled up to the top. Yeah, I was expecting a glass like this and he gave me a glass like this. But then I noticed that my friends, my German friends would do that too. When I would be at their house and they'd offer me some water, they'd fill up my glass and they never filled it up right away. Never. It was always like half full. And I was always confused because of, there's a lot more glass here and they're not filling it up. And I noticed at uh, restaurants, it's the same thing in Germany. You know, the glasses don't get filled to the top. Whereas in the US, like, Okay, this is maybe a bit of an extreme example. This is really full, but there. Like, I'd say that's how I would fill up a glass in America. Yeah, in the US, we fill our glasses to the top. Of course, depending on the drink, that might also include a bunch of ice in there. So yeah, I do understand that with all the ice, the amount of actual drink, actual liquid in the glass might be the same in Germany and the US, but I just think it's super interesting that in Germany, the drinks often stop, you know, around here 
Whereas in the US, they usually go more towards the top. So yeah, this is a Stefan glass of water and this is a Donna glass of water. Although I will say, living in Germany for so long, I have started putting less liquid in my glasses. So it is starting to rub off on me, but what would you say? Are you team Stefan glass of water or team Donna glass of water? Let me know down in the comments. So my question for you is, what do you think of these differences? Had you noticed them before watching this video? How is this done where you live? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it put a smile on your face. I can't wait to read your comments down in the comments below. Below. If you want more content from me, you can follow me over on Instagram. I post my Instagram stories, usually in German or Danglish, but I do try to put little English subtitles there, and I post pictures with the descriptions usually in English. So it's a very Danglish Instagram account, German and English mixed. You can also follow me on Twitter. I still have a Facebook page that I do post to, and um, there's that bell, you can subscribe, you can hit the like button, there's all kinds of activities that you can do. What is wrong with me? What am I doing? What is that for a goodbye? All I wanted to say was I hope you enjoyed the video and a really huge thank you so very much to our patrons who support us on Patreon. Thank you so, 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 so very much for your support. It's so appreciated. Thank you so much. If you would like to check out our Patreon page, you can find a link to that down in the description box below. Until next time, Auf Wiedersehen.